This is a multifaceted project. We have signed a convention with the president of the municipality of Enfi to enhance all the archaeological features of the, of the promontory and of the village in order to promote sustainable tourism. Totally unexpected was this mosaic pavement, which actually runs underneath the cemetery and covers this entire cistern. What we found here is the destruction of the room which was built with the mosaic, which allowed us actually to date the mosaic to the 6th, 7th century AD. The Roman city of Anfi must have been underneath the actual village itself because we have collected data from many villagers. They had found several mosaic pavements underneath their houses. What we found here, when we finished excavating the entire church and uh, the surroundings of the church, we were able to uncover in these, on this bedrock, in these natural pockets, something quite unexpected. We found a lot, a package of pottery shirts, which actually date back to the early Bronze Age. This is where we started this entire project of surveying Enfi and its territory, where we have picked over 28,000 of pottery shirts from the promontory alone. We were able to locate about 300 pieces dating back to the Bronze Age period. Definitely during the Bronze Age, the promontory was occupied. The Phoenician city of Enfi, the location of it, we still haven't found where it is. And our maritime survey, under the supervision of Lucy Saman, will help us determine this. were able to locate the commercial port of Enfi north of the promontory, then we're more likely to be able to locate the city itself. This is an antique ramp, definitely very ancient ramp, probably dating back to the Phoenician period. We don't know yet. This is part of our survey. This is actually the last remaining standing wall from the fortress itself. This is the extreme of the fortress. What we have is actually the filling of the wall that's still standing against all winds and all waves. Unfortunately, 1992, the Lebanese government decided to bring in the Egyptian salt at one-third of the price of the salt which is produced in Enfi and the region, which basically killed the production of salt in Lebanon. We're trying to help individuals who are still leasing salt marches to jumpstart their production again. And hopefully, between local production and archaeological vestiges, we can put back Enfi on the touristic map of Lebanon and the Near East.